saltwaterfishing247.com. Brought to you by Laser Sharp by Eagle Claw. Sharper, stronger, longer. When I'm running live bait, there's uh, two different types of hooks that we use. Uh, the treble and the circle. Uh, talk about the treble here, it's, it's Eagle Claw product. It's, uh, it's a 3-0, 4X strong hook, uh, but it's made out of bronze. It's not your typical stainless hook. Uh, if we do have to uh, leave a hook in a fish, um, these rust out extremely quick in salt water. It's not very long. Also what I do is, a little tip is that I, I'll pinch back two of the barbs on uh, three of these hooks and leave one barb on and that'll be the one that we attach to the bait uh, itself, the live bait. And with the other two pinched back it'll make it easier for me to retrieve the hook out of the fish. Uh, these hooks here are extremely penetrable. Uh, being thin wire, uh, it's been a great choice that Eagle Call came up with and uh, we love them. Also is the circle hook that uh, we also use. These hooks have been good in a matter in a different different ways. They have a large gap here which will clear the bunker's nose. Um, the bunker are eaten head first by the bass so this will be in the bait into the fish's stomach first and obviously when we set the line top it'll pull out and catch the corner of the fish's mouth. Been very uh, extremely uh, useful to us. If there are a lot of fish around I prefer to use this. If fishing is tight I'll uh, get better hookups and more hookups with the treble. But both are great products, both are Eagle Claw products, and uh, uh, we'll have to put them to the test in here in a moment. Good. We got one taking it right now. This has got the circle hook on it, so I'm not going to set the hook, I'm just going to close it. And let him hook himself. Oh yeah. Almost feels like a bluefish, but we'll find out. Pretty erratic uh, head shaking here, characteristic to a bluefish. But there's so many fish here. Small bass will sometimes uh, fight the same as a bluefish. That's a bass. I'm gonna put a chunk down next time. line burner. Oh yeah. The current's starting to move pretty good so they're fighting a little getting their nose in the current a little fighting heavier than they really are. These are fiberglass rods. Uh, I got graphite rods also. Graphite has like, a lot of feel in it. So the fiberglass, there's nothing like a nice bend in the rod. This little guy here, look at that circle hook, did his job. See that, Matt? Right in the corner of the mouth where it's supposed to be. And this is going to be a nice, easy release. But, uh, his, his stomach is full. He's eating good. If you saw on that one there, uh, that was a circle hook. And you notice the fish took it and ran and all I did was just close the bail on the reel and just locked it up and the fish hooked itself like a circle hook uh, is supposed to work. Caught it right in the corner of the mouth. As compared to the other fish we caught a few minutes ago, set the hook with the treble, buried it right in the side of his mouth. They both work extremely well. Uh, it's depending on your own personal preference. Uh, we released all the fish so far unharmed. So. Um, Treble hooks are great, and circle hooks are great, so try them both, I would suggest. Well, as Dave was describing before, when you're utilizing a circle hook, you kind of let it set itself. But when you're using a treble, you set it like that. <laughs> and then you hold on. You like a good one? This isn't a bad fish. This isn't a bad fish. Nothing all, huge, but they're all good they're fish, all man. Good I don't fish. care. Unless you're fighting the current there. 
starting to kick up pretty good now. Nah, man, it's all fish. It's all he's fish. At, he's at least 60, 70 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to fight him so hard, he's going to lose weight by the time he gets here. <laughs> Crash diet. That's it. This isn't a bad fish, man. He's got some gumption to him. A little bit of spunk. But he ain't tough enough for the Seaguar leader. Oh. Man. He's not real pleased with this. Uh, are. Come on, baby. There we go. Show us some shoulders. Oh! oh. I can't believe you got me wet. He is a good fish. Come on. Away from the motor. Not bad. Not a monster. No. Certainly a good fish, though. That uh, hook right there. Come on, buddy. Gotcha. Woo! That is what we come out here for. Good job. That's why we run our three ways to get down to the bottom to these fish. This is why we spend our time here out in the morning getting live bait. That's a nice fish. Nice, healthy. Striped bass in the Connecticut River. Thanks, Dave, man. I really appreciate you taking us out here today, man. No problem, Matt. Let's Enjoy do it. having you. Time That's for another one? Time for another one. Let's unhook him and get him out of here. SaltwaterFishing247.com, helping you catch that fish of a lifetime.